hello guys and welcome back to the channel today i'm giving away a free component for oxygen builder users and that is the dynamic ticker slider for oxygen builder this component is useful for creating testimonial sections news stickers announcements uh, infinite scrolling logos and anything you would want to use it for this is how it is set up it is designed to scroll infinitely and it is dynamic that means you could use it with the oxygen repeater and it's compatible with anything the oxygen repeater is compatible with so i'm just going to show you how to set it up once you download this for free you're going to be taken to a dashboard where you can download this and once you download it uh, you could drag the downloaded file copy all the json file content go into oxygen create a page you want to use it on and then click import and paste and then import and it is going to import that i'm going to save these I'm just going to just preview this on the front end and then you see this is just how it's going to look now if you open the dynamic uh, the slider section or you could see you would see the slider code here and the overall wrapper now here by default I've included uh, four dynamic content and one static content now if you look at the static content you're going to see that it has three slides okay now let's assume you don't want to use static content so i'm going to go ahead and delete the static content so the dynamic content has just one slide inside a repeater my repeater is set to query uh posts okay so you could set it to query anything you want to query inside that we have the slider inner wrap that you're going to put your text and your image uh, so the image is in case you want to use an image if you don't want an image you could always delete that image now how do we set this up you can go to the slider code and in the css you can decide to change the ticker background so i'm just going to come here and change the background to white okay that shouldn't be there let me just use ff okay so that changes it to white and the text uh let's up the yeah, the slider title that text was in a class so we can actually move that and then save it so you can see we still have it in white color and you can see that this fade out adapts to the color of the background so you could also configure that if you don't want to have that fade out uh, you could just change the fade out width to zero pixels and you are not going to have that fade out so i'm going to click that but the fade out is usually a very nice way to show that content is coming in so you can see that that fade out is not there um, but i'm going to return it to 100 pixels for each of the slider you can control the speed and you could control whether it is reversed or not so i'm going to go down here and you see data scroll speed and then data reverse true so um, for purpose of demonstration i'm going to delete two and leave two so we can use so for here we can see that the reverse is true and here we see the reverse is false so if we go to the front end and refresh uh, you can see that one is reversed but then if i say reverse true for the other one too uh, you will see that both of them are going to go in the same direction i uh, see both of them are going in the same direction and one is significantly faster the first one is faster i want the second one to be faster so i'm on the second one and my scroll speed uh the first one the scroll speed is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.4 i'm going to take the scroll speed all the way to 0 0.7 let me just make it two and save it so you can see that this is much faster so those are the settings that you have apart from the speed you could also trim the words so if you go to the code into the javascript section uh you could trim words so you could enable trim words to true so one is true now if i take this to false that means i don't want to trim words so i just want the dynamic text to come in as long as it is so uh, i'm going to do this you can see that it puts it pulls in the full text but i want to trim the words uh, you could also uh, trim number of words you could also set it to maybe a specific number of words let's say if you don't want random uh, trimming let's say let's put let's turn up the random and specify the number of words i could see that it, it all trims one two three four one two three four so it's four words one two three four but we want it to be random so i'm going to turn on random by turning that to one but then the minimum number of words now it's random so you have to set a minimum and the maximum so i don't want it to be smaller than three words and i don't want it to be more than six words so it randomizes and trims you know each time you refresh you get something different it's because it's random so uh, take a look at this i'm going to refresh the first you see the first one is one two three four i want to refresh again the first one is one two three four five so it randomizes the number of words that it trims 
So I'm going to put a link in the description. That link comes with a 100% free discount. So when you download that, you're not going to pay anything. And also feel free to check out other components on the website. I have components for different builders. Check them out and let me know what you think. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.